Incredible. So we have Vivi versus Carful here in winner's finals. We're going to be throwing it back to the stream setup as we have Carflow versus Vivi here in our winner's finals. Vivi uh, moving off from the hero to the Incineroar, a decision I absolutely agree with. You agree with this? Incineroar? Oh, I mean, okay, maybe not quite Incineroar, but over like Lucario or Hero, absolutely I agree with this. Krom or Roy are, will run those characters down and make sure they are not able to play at all. But, and honestly, Incineroar, not a bad defensive character. Obviously defensive? Ha Interesting. Yeah, obviously, having the Lariat, having the command grab is going to make Carflow think twice about approaching. Carflow does not care. Carflow will run you over. Carflow will take that first stock. Carflow would loan me $20. <laughs> Carflow is up in the lead. And of course, Carflow has to be aware of the potential of revenge. But well, we haven't seen Vivi throw it out just yet, and it has been Carflow with all of the momentum right now. What well, Carflow is. has above any other character that they have in their roster is that revenge. They were able to get that amazing damage, and just like that, this is an even game. Showing it right there, uh, Incineroar's counter, maybe a little bit better than Krom. Just a little bit. But this is also an opportunity for Vivi to be like, I can lose 10 interactions and I can still bring this back. Now they're going to have to prove that they can bring this back up for, at a stock deficit. Yeah, I mean, Carflow definitely wanted to optimize those one interactions. Baiting Car out the counter once again. Carflow's starting to call these out knowing that the revenge is only maybe like 10 frames. So if you can like just kind of weave in and out with that speed, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, we definitely say like Carflow is a player who will go to from 0 to 60 very often, but sometimes he just goes to 59 miles per hour instead, and that that little trip up is just enough for uh, for him to find like a whiff punch. It's also just enough for me to return that car. If I'm going to get a Mercedes or a Mitsubishi, I'm going to get 0 to 60 in 10 seconds. But let's see who's able to bring this back in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, Five. Carflow holding Never on mind. to this lead. The dash Four, track not three, quite yet. Two. Swiping even Vivi out of the seconds. air. Or do you think we're going to see a change of character? We're going to have Vivi commit to this Incineroar. I, I don't know. I definitely do not feel like we're going to see a Lucario or a Hero. Not at all. We might see the Terry. Joker. We're the, seeing the Joker. Joker. So, Vivi was talking about this yesterday, and they were talking specifically against Crawflow. Their Terry was beautiful last night against Strong Numbers. However, I think they have a problem with kind of MK Leo, where they recognize this as one of their best characters and they do very well with it. But when they play against a character that has moments where they suicide them off stage, like a com, like a Crom up special and they die, they have those moments where like, I don't want to play this character anymore. This play character is stupid. <laughs> I don't want to die that early, and I don't want to die in that fashion. So they stop playing and commit themselves to other characters. But as we're seeing here, Vivi has amazing pressure, has amazing reversals, and is able to just change the flow of battle with just a few hits. Yeah, I believe the intent here from Vivi is like, okay, if I can't get in your space, and try and reversal you with counters, I'm just gonna out hoke you. You know, yeah, sure, you've got a sword, but I've got side B, I've got guns. I have a knife. I've got F, F tilt, but you're bringing a knife to a sword fight and car flow. Once again, finding stock one here, and Arsene is off the board for Vivi. Only for now, it always comes back. Carflow is just not biting on any of these counter attempts from Vivi, not even the Rebels Guard. Vivi trying to ledge trap. Nothing happening. See right here, the back air not quite working out for Vivi. Does get them the space to try and start this poke game plan once again, but a hard commit to an up smash is going to be given Carflow's stage control. Arsene is out. They can get away with a few more things than usual, but if they're not going to be throwing out maybe some spacing tools like that gun, like Beats does a lot in neutral, or that back air, it's going to be a struggle to get through on Carflow. 
Carflow is just not phased one bit right now, just completely dancing around Vivi. And Arsene, once again gone, he just remembered he had to, he left the stove on or something. Arsene is out of here. Oh no. Poor Arsene. I have to play that Con Edison for that gas. Oh, don't even talk to me about Con Edison. <laughs> no, thank you. Thanks, Con Edison. Why did you charge me $50 for half a month? It's because I love the snow one. Oh, oh, no. I know, it's okay. I just didn't smoke in the house. I don't smoke anyway. Anyway, let's see if Carpo is able to smoke Vivi out of the second stock. Arsene almost online for Vivi's second stock, almost falling right into the F smash, but a beautifully timed spot dodge, keeping Vivi alive and keeping them in this game as they now find themselves with stage control. Sometimes all you have to do is stand still and wait for somebody to throw out that first option, Carflow getting grabbed and then in a terrible situation, but finally maintaining stage control. <gasps> Vivi pulling out the guns, but not big enough. Vivi didn't believe in the tech chase, unfortunately. They had the right idea of finding the rollout, but Carflow holding on to this second stock and with a lot of rage as well. Oh my gosh, oh. we're we gonna see. Oh, Car neither Carflow nor Vivi can clutch the second stock out. They just keep hitting each other off stage. Somebody kill each other. <laughs> uh, just Barely still holding on Carflow now with full rage. Our senseless back air not going to be sending Carflow anywhere except the ledge. But Carflow right back is so lucky that BB doesn't have a real gun. I know. And instead, it's Carflow who's able to take the second stock first. And we may, in fact, be seeing uh, a cheeky suicide kill from Carflow if he's able to push BB all the way to the ledge. They have one whole song to play with, but at 158 against a player like VV, do you really want to risk that stock? Yeah. What? Why not? You know, just do it. VV just went out too far. That was totally preventable. <laughs> no. No. All right. If we slow this down, right? And we we pause here. So VV. It's going in. So what 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 was Vivi's Vivi's option here was gun. Right. Like they have like a little gun, right? Like <laughs> they do in fact you. have a gun. Right, they have a gun. And Carflow is going up here and this hitbox can hit That's right big. about here. It's enormous. So if we're going ten frames, right? And ball, oh, but they get hit. Yep, they They're going in. They go a little I think they fast fall actually. I'm right, and they get hit. And it's actually a bit of a miss input because that, this is the hitbox. And this is just pain all over. Yeah. And it's just like, good night, good luck, goodbye. Yeah, I'm, I'm if that not... is the perfect spot to actually kill Hero, I mean, um, a Joker. Because if you're going in, it's just dead. And that goes for any, really, any character because right there is that sweet spot to be like, you're just going to go down into the blast zone. There's yeah. no help for you. I, I got to say, I'm not entirely sure what the plan was there with the gun. I mean, the, the plan you... was, I'll tell you right now, the plan was to hit them into a hit stun, get them out of that up special, and then hit them with a spike. That was the 